The Acer Predator Helios 500 has just launched in India and it recently arrived in our offices. Well, I was truly excited to check it out and why not? This is the first Core i9 powered laptop I've ever used and honestly, this is a beast. Let me tell you all about it. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today we have this lightweight and portable, I'm just kidding, this massive Core i9 packing laptop is the first Core i9 laptop I've ever used and it blew my mind. But before I tell you more about this laptop, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Also, this video has been brought to you by Grow, which makes it easy and simple to invest in mutual funds. I'll talk to you about Grow at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now then, let's get started. Okay, so this here is the Predator Helios 500 and no matter where you look at it from, it screams gaming. It has the standard Predator branding on the lid, vents that look like they were stolen off a Lamborghini, more ports than you might need and is overall a menacing looking laptop. If you were already impressed by it, wait to see what's inside. There's a 17.3 inch 4K display, a full size keyboard with 4 zone RGB backlighting complete with a numpad and proper arrow keys and a trackpad that has its own blue LED border because, you know, cool factor. All that is impressive, but I know you didn't come here to look at RGB lighting and 4K displays. You came here to look at what's inside of this gigantic beast. Well, I won't make you wait any longer. Under the hood here is 32 gigs of RAM, a 1TB hard disk paired with 256GB of SSD, a GTX 1070 with 8 gigs of GDDR5 memory, and an 8th gen Core i9 processor with 6 cores and 12 threads of downright insanity. So how does it perform? Well, I normally don't talk about benchmarks in laptop videos, but this thing, well, I want to talk about the benchmarks. In Cinebench R15, the Core i9 absolutely rips through the CPU test, scoring well over 1000 points. And in the OpenGL test, the laptop scores above 130 frames per second easily. In comparison, the Acer Predator Triton 700, which is priced at 3 lakh rupees, scores 94 FPS on Cinebench R15's OpenGL test. The MSI GE73, which is priced at 1 lakh and 80 thousand, scores 102 FPS in the same benchmark. In PC Mark 10, the laptop scores 5,698 points and 6,886 in PC Mark 10 Extended. Here too, the Helios 500 is a beast. The Triton 700 scores 3891 here, while the MSI GE73 scores 3055 on PC Mark 10. It's a pretty big difference. The performance is pretty impressive in 3D Mark as well, with the Predator Helios 500 scoring 6001 in Time Spy and 4434 in Firestrike Ultra. In comparison, the MSI GE73 scores 5733 in Time Spy on 3D Mark. So yeah, as expected, this Core i9-powered beast absolutely blazes through benchmarks. But what really matters is real-world performance and to test that, I started off with, you guessed it, games. First, I fired up PUBG, set everything to max and played in the native 4K resolution. The laptop comfortably hovered around 60 FPS without any issues. I'm pretty sure the bottleneck here was the 1070 but regardless of that, 60 FPS is a pretty amazing frame rate to get in 4K, especially on PUBG. That said, I still couldn't get a damn chicken dinner, but I can't really blame the laptop for that now, can I? Moving on, GTA 5 wasn't any issue for the laptop either, getting around 60 to 70 FPS in 4K at max settings too. It's an older game, sure, but it's definitely demanding and getting 60 FPS on 4K means it's perfectly playable on the laptop. Yeah, you could switch it down to 1080p and get even better frame rates, but I don't see the need. The only game that was able to push this laptop was Far Cry 5. Playing at 4K with max settings gets a little difficult with the laptop struggling to go above 35 to 40 frames per second. 35 to 40 is definitely not unplayable, but it's not what you want when you buy a laptop as beefy as the Helios 500, is it? However, switching it down to 1080p saw the frame rate jump right up to an easy 80 FPS on an average, going as high as 100 FPS, so that's pretty neat. I even played CSGO on this thing, just for the heck of it, and well, as expected, it ripped right through it. I got a frame rate around 200 FPS with ease playing CSGO. Not that I was surprised. 
I think it's safe to say that gaming performance on this Core i9 GTX 1070 powered laptop is absolutely amazing. However, Intel's intention with this Core i9 was not solely on gaming. In fact, the company said that this processor, this Core i9 that's in our laptop, is the most powerful gaming and creation processor they've ever built for the laptop. So yeah, I tested out its video rendering capabilities. So we took a 4K video clip from one of our projects and loaded it up on one of our editing rigs. A PC that boasts of an Intel Xeon E5 processor that has 6 cores in 12 threads too, 32 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1080 GPU. We edited the video in Adobe Premiere Pro and rendered it. It took 20 minutes and 4 seconds to export. Next we loaded up the same clip on this laptop, performed the same edits in Premiere Pro and rendered it and it took just 12 minutes and 14 seconds to export it which is 8 minutes less than our very powerful editing rig. Now that's a huge difference. I mean after this test our video team was asking us to let them use the Helios 500 to edit the videos. Needless to say the Core i9 is definitely an impressive performer. That was the Core i9 and it's pretty obvious that it's a very powerful processor. Whether it be for gaming, video production or virtual reality content, this Core i9 will not let you down. But that's the processor. What about this laptop as a whole? Well, the Predator Helios 500 is definitely an amazing laptop. It's got the Core i9 processor, 32 gigs of RAM which should prove plentiful for the majority of people and a GTX 1070 which, well, granted I would have liked the 1080 instead but this is a pretty powerful and capable video card nonetheless. That said, there are some issues here. Firstly, the battery life on this is terrible. As you can probably see, it couldn't even last the entirety of our shoot. This laptop packs in a 74 watt hour battery which is pretty big to be honest. But it's not big enough to handle the Core i9 processor, the GTX 1070 and the 4K display. In best battery life mode with 50% brightness, the laptop lasts for just about 2.5 hours. That's with watching some videos and surfing the web. If you put it through gaming, the laptop barely lasts 90 minutes. Then there's the display which for some reason leans towards a warmer color tone and the unit we have also developed this weird red mark for some reason in the display. I mean it's not really noticeable easily but once you see it, you can't see it. But honestly that's all there is in terms of negatives in what is otherwise a really powerful laptop. The laptop has launched in India at a starting price of Rs 1.5 lakhs. Our higher end variant here costs 2.5 lakhs and at that price there is a lot of competition here. At a similar price, you can get the Alienware 15 and the MSI GT75 8RG. However, as you can see, the Alienware 15 only comes with 16 gigs of RAM and a Full HD display. The GT75 8RG of the similar price comes with an 8th Gen Core i7, but upgrades the graphics to a GTX 1080 GPU. So if you want more graphical horsepower, you can opt for the MSI GT75. However, if you're looking for something that packs in a 4K display with a Core i9 processor and lots of RAM, the Helios 500 is definitely worth considering. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor for this video. Grow is an app that lets you invest in mutual funds and the stock market with ease. I can simply download the app, complete the KYC process and I'm ready to invest. You can check out the most popular funds to invest in and even some investment plans that you might be interested in, including funds with high returns and more. I can tap on a fund I'm interested in and get detailed analysis and risks about it, including a detailed graph of net asset value fluctuations as well. There are also a ton of useful options here including SIP calculator, pros and cons and more. I can then tap on the invest now button to invest. Crow is registered with SEBI and all the transactions are 100% secure, so there's no need to worry. If you are interested in investing in mutual funds or the stock market, check out Grow from the link in the description. Well, those were my thoughts on the Predator Helios 500 and I'm pretty impressed. But what do you think about this laptop? Are you impressed with the Core i9 processor? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.